Welcome Blues fans and here we are getting towards the end of season 2013 and Carlton, what have we done? We've been up there, we've been down there, we've been in the middle of the road, we've got up, we've gone down a little bit more. We have, we've been a little bit like a yo-yo. Hanging in there, it's still got a faint, faint, faint sniff of playing in the finals. The win this weekend over Richmond has just kept ourselves alive and we made up for that loss we had in the first game of the season. But all season, we never quite managed to get that run of three or four wins on the trot that we needed. We could win one or two games easy, but it's winning three and four on the trot, which I said earlier in the year, is the key to being a finals contender. And we didn't beat the teams above us. Sure, we had some close losses, but we lost all the same. You've got to win games of football to make the finals. We haven't done it. But all through the season, it's been faintly, faintly kept alive. Now, the week before, we had the Western Bulldogs, and we lost to them. They absolutely cut us apart. They were too fast for us, and they just ran us into the ground. We were just chasing jumpers in the last two quarters, and we lost. That was the game that, as far as I was concerned, completely ended our opportunity of making the finals. The very faint chance we have is, of course, that we played Port Adelaide in the last game of the year. Maybe we will win it, maybe we won't win it. We can't afford to lose another game for the rest of the season. We need Port Adelaide to lose all of their games. And hopefully we get in there by percentage. But either way, season 2013 is not going to be a premiership year for Carlton. As much as I would like to say, go you Blues, we're in there with a chance and we'll never give up. That's the way we may feel passionately with our hearts. But reality is, we aren't good enough. We're going to have to rebuild our team this season. And we've got older players, they're getting close to the 30s. There's a very, very fine window when you've got the players the experience to win games of football. And we've reached that window, and the time has come now to start cleaning out the cupboard. That's partly why we've got Mick Malthouse as coach, because he's done it before at other clubs. He's come into Carlton, he's had an establishing year. We've done reasonable. We were outside of the eight, we may end up in the eight, that'd be nice. We did the same last year under Ratton. We were just outside of the eight. We had our chances. And basically it's very similar to last year. We just haven't quite been good enough. Because the other teams above us are better than us. AFL footy, we don't dominate like we did in the 70s and the 80s. And even to the 90s to an extent. The game's far more equal. Australian rules football is governed by a principle that it's only as strong as the weakest team in it. And that's why the AFL, they support the teams down the bottom. The whole system is designed for each club to be as even and have a chance to win as they possibly can. Even look at Gold Coast this season, how they come out of the blocks and started winning big games, winning important games. They're not the easy beats. Greater Western Sydney will go the same way. We have to start developing our team so that we can do a Greater Western Sydney, so we can do a Gold Coast. With our draft picks, with our selection process around the draft table, is to build up the body of a team for our next chance at a premiership in three or four years' time. In the meantime, let's see how 2013 unfolds for us. Go you blues! It's the Australian way.